Let's learn object-oriented file dialog boxes with Kinter and Python. Hey guys, John Alder here from tkinter.com, and in this video, we're gonna build this basic app that allows us to use file dialog boxes to open a text file, read whatever's in the text file, and then output that into our Kinter app. And we're gonna be writing the code for this app using object-oriented programming. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic Kinter starter code that we've been working on in the last few videos in this playlist. And you can see it's object oriented. We've got a class with app. We've got our super and our init stuff. And we've got a title and a size. So let's come down here and start creating some widgets. But before we do that, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter widget quick reference guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter widget attributes. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address. And I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. So let's come down here and create some widgets. And the first one we want to create is a text box. So let's call this my underscore text. And this is going to be a text box. We want to put it in self. And let's give this a width of like 80 and a height of like 20. Should be good. And then let's self dot my underscore text dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y 20 push down screen a little bit. Okay, so we also want a button. So I'm going to call this my underscore button. And this is going to be a button. We want to put it in self. We want the text to say open file. And we want the command to equal self dot file. And you can call this anything you want, but we're going to be opening a file. So I'm going to call it self dot file. <laughs> so here let's self dot my underscore button dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of 20 also to push down screen a little bit. So we've got our basic layout. Now let's come down here and create that function. So let's go define file and we want to pass in self. And for now, let's just pass. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure this looks okay. Head back over to our terminal. I'm in my c slash tkinter.com directory, and let's run python class underscore file dialog dot pi. And when we do, we get this box. There's a text box. There's a button that doesn't do anything, but all right, looks pretty good. So now, how do we create a pop-up box that lets us select the file we want to open? Well, to do that, we use something called a file dialog, and let's come up here and import it. So let's go from tkinter import file dialog. Now I know up here we imported everything, but you still have to separately import your file dialog. It's kind of weird. And then now that we've imported that, we can start to use it. So let's come down to our function and let's go self dot and let's create a variable. I'm just going to call it my file. And this will hold whatever this file dialog box returns. And it will return the path to whatever file we want to open. So if we're in our C slash tkinter.com directory, it will be C slash tkinter slash cheese.txt or whatever file we select. So that will get that little location will get returned to this variable. So to use this, we call the file dialog. And then we want to use ask open file name. And this is a function that does exactly what it sounds like. It asks you which file name you want to open. So inside of here, we need to define a few things. First, we need to define our initial directory. So when the box pops up, what do you want to show right there? Do you want to show like just your C drive, a specific directory in your C drive, in your D drive? Where do you want it to be the default directory that shows up when this file dialog box pops up? So I want it just to be in the same directory as our file here, this class underscore file dialog dot pi file. So we could just leave this blank. Otherwise, you could be you could do something like, uh, you know, uh, tkinter dot com slash whatever, you know, whatever like that. Since we want to have it in the same directory, we just leave this blank. So, okay, that looks good. Now we also need a title. So let's say uh, select a file. And then we also need to define the type of files we want to open. So we could set file types equal. And then inside of here, I'm going to put a couple of brackets. And then we want to be able to open txt files. So we go txt files, comma, and then the type of file that a txt file is, is a .txt file extension, right? So here, this star means we can open anything, any named file that ends in a .txt file extension, right? So, okay, that looks good. Now, I always just kind of like to also put all files just because, <laughs> I don't know, you really don't have to, but 
Uh, let's go all files. And here, this is going to be star dot star. So any file name with any file extension. That's what star dot star means. Right? So okay, we've got one, two, and then we should have a third one here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is wrong here. Boom. So we've got one, two, three, and one, two, three, closing brackets. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now let's run some logic and let's say if self dot my underscore file. And this basically says, hey, if there is something in this variable, because a person can open a file dialog box and then click cancel. And if they click cancel, there won't be anything to return. So we need to run some logic here to make sure something got returned, make sure they actually clicked on a file to open. So here, if they did, let's go, well, let's just print the file extension to our text box just so we can see it. So that would be self dot my underscore text. And we want to dot insert. We want to insert it at the end of the text box. And what do we want to put in there? Just whatever self dot my underscore file is. So, okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. See how that's looking. So I can click open file. And I've got this file in here that's called cheese that I just created. It's just a text file. It doesn't really matter. And if I open this, it returns C colon tkinter.com slash cheese.txt. So, okay, that's pretty cool. That's the file location. And we need that to then open that file later on and do whatever we're going to do. But for now, it's returning it. That looks great. So let's head back over to our code. Now we've got this, right? What we actually want to do, and let's say check to make sure user selected a file. So we've got this file location. Now we can open it just using basic Python, right? This is not even anything to do with tkinter whatsoever. Let's come down here and let's say uh, open and read the file. And we could do that just by creating a variable. I'm going to call the variable, I don't know, get contents. You can make this a self dot or you could just make it local since we're just going to be doing it right here very quickly and we're not going to use this anywhere else in our program. I'm just going to make it like that. And then to do that, we just call the open function in Python. And that's all there is to it. Now, this takes two arguments. It's, it wants to know what do you want to open? Well, that's going to be our self dot my underscore file, which is that file, this thing right here that we're putting onto the text box, right? And then we need to tell Python, just read it. We don't want to write to it. We don't want to edit it. We don't want to save it. We just want to read it. And that's the R tag. And that's the R flag. Uh, that's just how the open function works. It takes these flags and one of them is R stands for read. So, okay, this will read that and assign whatever is in this file into this variable. So now we can just put this variable right here. Almost. If we do that, it don't, it won't quite work. Let's run it and I'll show you here. So let's open a file. Let's pick our cheese file. And now we get this sort of uh, weird object looking thing, right? So that's definitely not what we want. What we want to do is dot read that thing. So we call the dot read function. Now, if we save this and run it, it should work no problems. Let's open a file, cheese, and it prints out, hey, my name is John Elder. I love tkinter. Check out tkinter.com. And there we go. So this is a tutorial on object-oriented tkinter. And really, there's nothing in here that's all that object-oriented, except for running this function inside of our class and calling it from a button. Now, if this was functional programming instead of class-based programming, you would just call a command of file. But since this is object-oriented, we call self.file, and then we pass self in here, and this is how we do it. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and uh, really powerful. And it's really nice to be able to create a file dialog box that has all this functionality, it allows you to grab any file location that you want, and then do whatever you want with it after that with just really one line of code right here. I mean, it's on three lines, but you know, that's just because I put it on three lines so that we could read it. This is actually just one line of code, right? Creates a file dialog box, returns whatever you click on. Very cool. And that's all there's to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. 
Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.